This is Math Test Taking Strategies presented by the Student Success Center at Eastern Kentucky University. Finally, after all that time you spent studying math, it's time to take the test. You've prepared for the exam the best way you could, so the night before, try to get a good night's rest. If your schedule allows it, maybe even give yourself part of the night just to relax. Pulling an all-nighter to cram information at the last minute won't help you. Rest, eat a good breakfast, and be ready to succeed. Oh, and make sure your calculator is fully charged. If you need accommodations in order to take your exam, make sure you have that set up with the Center for Student Accessibility and your professor ahead of time. There should be no reason you aren't in an environment where you can excel. If you have any questions about accommodations, contact the Center for Student Accessibility. Now, test day can be very stressful. Math anxiety is a real thing, so always remember to try and relax. When you get your test, start by looking at every problem. There are no rules about doing the problems in order, so pick out the problems you know that you can ace and do those first. It will help boost your confidence and get into a groove. After you solve the easier ones, start working on the more difficult problems. Make sure you read the problem carefully. If you aren't sure what the problem is asking for, ask the professor. Even professors can make mistakes writing exams, so asking for clarification might uncover an issue with the test. Don't be afraid to ask. The worst they can say is that they can't give you more information. And as you go through your test, make sure you show your work on every step. If you have a calculator, don't be afraid to use it, but still show your work. Often, you can get partial credit if you show your work, so make sure you can get every point possible. And don't ever rush. Take your time on each problem. And if you need more time to take the exam, ask the professor. But it's not worth harming your grade to rush through the exam. If you do the easier ones first, you'll be able to devote more time to the difficult ones while ensuring you get the easier points. And after you solve all the problems, if there is time left over, check your work. Make sure you use the right formulas. Make sure you answered all parts of the question. Make sure you did not forget any negative signs. And for you calculus students, make sure you put plus C when integrating. After you double check and are double confident with your results, turn in your test and exhale. You did it. When you get the test back, if it's not the grade you hoped for, don't worry. There will be time to improve on it. Look at the test for your professor's comments and learn from them. If you need additional help, ask the professor during office hours or come to the Student Success Center for tutoring. As long as you improve each time and learn something, you can succeed in math.